Coming to you today as I look back on how I got started running for this Board of Supervisors was never on my bucket list. I had always been engaged with schools, with the community, and with my neighborhood. I never really thought that work would take me down this path, but it's been truly humbling to have the citizens' support to represent them on this board for two terms. The fact that the people of Midlothian trusted me to be their voice and make decisions for our community, I never took that lightly and I never looked at it through the lens of my next political move because for me, it was never about politics. I listened a lot, I learned a lot, and I think we've made incredible strides over the past seven years. I'm grateful for the expertise and the dedication of the professional staff that serves the residents and the businesses of Chesterfield. And I'm honored to be part of the work that has been done. I'm particularly optimistic about the projects that we've undertaken, like Stonebridge, which began before my time on the board, but is coming to full development now. And then Spring Rock Green going forward, Meadowville Technology Park, and Upper Magnolia Green, to create opportunities for our future generations to live, to work, to raise families in this fabulous county. That's what this is all about. I had a unique opportunity to see what is happening in other jurisdictions across the state when I ran for statewide office last year. Let me assure you, we have so much going on for us in Chesterfield. We are making inroads on much needed public infrastructure, we're poised to build on that progress through November's bond referendum, and we've approved historic investments in teacher and public safety pay that are helping us recruit and retain thousands of key front employees. While there's no such thing as perfect, and you never know the next challenge that we might encounter, Chesterfield is positioned for lasting success with our resilient economy, our safe neighborhoods, our excellent schools, and a growing, diverse community. It's difficult to pinpoint the one thing from my time on the board that I'm proudest of. There have been so many things over the course of seven years and so many people. The list really goes on and on. But the ability to forge relationships in the community and facilitate these meaningful dialogues among so many people and groups that represent di different interests, I'm really proud to have brought so many of those voices together to find the best way forward for Chesterfield. I'm a firm believer that when there's respectful disagreement, that creates pathways to mutual understanding. If you can be open-minded and consider their valid opinions other than your own, it only brings about more thoughtful outcomes. We had many great collaborative conversations as a board and with staff, and I'm certainly certain ongoingly I'm going to miss that. But Chesterfield's home. I'll still be an active part of this community. The next chapter of my life will give me a chance to view public service through a different prism, and that's certainly something to be excited about. I feel very confident as I leave this board position today and I step into my next venture about the board members that I've had the honor to serve with and their continued commitment to the citizens. And I just want to say thank you to every single one of you for the support you put in me and the trust you had in the work that I've done. And I have all the faith that this is going to continue and ongoing with your next board. Thank you so very much to every single one of you.